Today is a scheduled throwing day. Um, I have been kind of just throwing here and there whenever I get the feeling, whenever it's like, oh, I got a few extra minutes, I'll do it, but nothing truly programmed. So this is kind of the beginning of really programmed throwing. And it's pretty, uh, since I'm doing a lot of high volume in the weight room, um, it's still, I'm really just throwing once a week, uh, one or two events per week. So it's not gonna be anything too intense. Problem is, is that I'm not healthy. Um, my low back has just not patched itself up just yet. Um, it's partially my fault, mostly my fault. I haven't been as compliant with um, my mobility work, stretching, rolling, smashing, all that kind of stuff. I haven't done it as well. So that's really probably a more important part of what I have to do today. So I'm gonna do that, get myself moving, get myself a little more fluid, get things clicking, and then I'm gonna try to throw some height events. I'm not gonna be dumb. I'm not going to go all out. It's going to be heavy on drill work. And when you're throwing in the off season, you know, it's especially during your volume phases, it's a good time to do drill work, to do partial work and not worry about just blasting out your biggest throws. So a little more emphasis on how to move today and try to set the patterns instead of just perform. Feeling pretty good. I did a quick little warm up, just a very light move around kind of workout, not a, even a real workout, just a warm up, just to get some blood flowing, then did some extended mobility work, smash, stretch, all that kind of good stuff. Um, the back feels good right now, feels like I can move on it. So I'm gonna go out and do some uh, drills for weight for height. I'm only gonna use the 28 pound weight to throw uh, weight for height today. I'm really more interested in how I move than um, how much weight I'm moving right now.
I predictably weight over bar work felt pretty good. It's a, it was a very light weight. It's you know half the competition weight, so not too bad. But um, I wasn't moving exactly how I'd like through some of the drills. Some of it was good, but I had some balance issues, and some of that's just you know unfamiliarity from not throwing for consistently for a while, especially height events. Yeah, I mean I felt they got a little wonky on some of the drills, but that's what they're for. I'm going to keep doing them and eventually start nailing them down, and those are going to work into getting me a better full throw. Um, everything felt good though, uh, throwing that 28 for height, so I decided to move into sheaf, and friends and neighbors, that did not feel that good. Um, you know, the wind and drop drill, that was, that's all well and good, because that's, that's more of a mental drill. That's just, you know, setting yourself up to make sure you let the bag drop on the right, and you drive with it, drop and drive with it, but that was all fine. Um, you know, that was just some memory issues. I couldn't remember to make everything fire, but the bottom's up. Um, I try to treat those a lot of times like a snatch off the ground. I try to set up that way, try to get a little more vert vertical torso, but it was not feeling good. And you can see by the last couple, I was just kind of setting it down, touching and going, not setting up too much. It was a little tweaky. And then the full throws, those didn't feel good at all. I was able to just, you know, smoothly go through and generate a little bit of pop and flick on the end, but I can't drive down and get any real violence out of the bottom right now. I, I'm kind of real tentative on my feet because I can feel the pain in the lower back, but eh. I got through a day of throwing. Um, I did exactly what is prescribed in our throwing lab group. Probably suffered a little extra because of the back. So for that reason, I'm gonna go back and do all the stuff I did in the beginning of the video, and I'm gonna do that all over again plus more. So giddy up.